Hey Code Crew, what's up? It's Chris here. I hope you've all had a wonderful holiday season. And I know I don't do these talking type of videos very often, usually it's a tutorial, but I wanted to take this opportunity to tell you about some of the things that I've been working on behind the scenes. And now most of these things are launched or in progress, and uh, I'm really excited to share with you. There are actually three things. Number one is CWC 3.0, or that's just what I call it, but essentially it's a website revamp. It's a little more than that, um, and I'm really proud of how it turned out. I want to walk you through this new experience. And number two is the Swift UI Foundations course. Uh, this course is in progress. It continues off from the 14 day beginner challenge. And I want to share um, what I've been doing in that. Number three is probably what I'm most excited about. And it is an app case study that is currently underway. And we just started this week. My idea with this is to share behind the scenes and have you guys, if you're interested, to follow along with that journey as we try to build an app and turn it into a business. And I think it's going to be very interesting. And I'll also share with you my motivations for doing this. Um, yeah, I won't say too much right now, but I'll save that for last. All right, let's hop on the computer so I can show you. All right, so let's first talk about the website revamp. And it's more than just a style difference, we actually migrated learning platforms from Teachable to Thinkific. So we were using Teachable before, and this is what it looked like. And we've been using this for uh, very many years. Um, it got to a point where we finally decided to change because we kept seeing the same complaints from our users over and over. Number one was that when they signed up for uh, Teachable, Teachable always prompted them to uh, create a My Teachable account or to link up this account to their My Teachable account. And it just confused the heck out of people to the point where a bunch of people even didn't want to continue after that because of how confusing that sign up process was. And these are our paying customers, right, who are signing up to CWC. Second thing is that the way that the courses are laid out. Um, doesn't really reflect our app journey that we always talk about. There's different stages in the learning process and different courses associated with each step. So this grid of courses, a lot of people got confused about where to start, especially once we started introducing Swift UI content as well. So people were confused. Do they start with this or do they start with this? And I, I will give them that. It is very confusing. So we finally decided to migrate to uh, Thinkific. And this is what it looks like now. The thing I like about Thinkific is that everything is very customizable. You're able to, uh, through code and through liquid templates, customize every single aspect of the experience. And so we decided to uh, make the experience seamless so that it doesn't feel like you're going to another site from codewithchris.com. And you can see this is when you're inside and you're on the learning platform. And it still feels, you know, like the same site. It was nowhere near the level of customization with Teachable. So with uh, Thinkific, I'm able to, depending on the role of the user, uh, give them a customized welcome video. So whether they are um, a CWC Plus member or maybe they're just checking out our free courses, I'm able to have some quick links up here. And then I'm able to, more importantly, lay out the courses the way I want. Now, this is all custom coding. This doesn't come out of the box, but I'm able to lay it out so it's very clear where people start and then what they're supposed to do next. And then after they finish the apprentice level courses, where what they're supposed to do next from there. And this is sort of like a mix and match, explore um, what interests you at this stage. And then finally getting to the pro courses where um, you're trying to meet your goals, whether that's look for a job or to um, build a product. So we were able to migrate to Thinkific and um, at the same time, I decided that with our forum that's running on Discourse right now to also use a single sign-on uh, with our WordPress site. So the experience is going to be uh, creating or signing in to codewithchris.com, and then you're automatically going to be signed into our forum. And right now, that's not the case because we haven't actually performed that um, that link yet. And they'll also be signed into the Thinkific instance. So I'm going to style the header here. By the time you see this video that it gets released, um, this will probably be styled and then this will be linked up to the code with Chris accounts. Um, but 
it's going to be a sort of unified experience. So I'm really proud that we finally got this launched because I've been looking at this since October and I started going like way, way out of scope because I started reimagining everything. Uh, I was dabbling around and, and trying to redesign our logo and redesign the homepage and <laughs> redesign the, the layout of our blog posts and quickly sort of got out of hand. And, you know, I'll talk about the logo a little bit because I, I feel like that's a little interesting. From the get go, our logo, as you can see um, here, it's it's hard to read. There's some text that's illegible, like the width over there. It's also hard to put in a circular format, as you can see in this tab up here. It doesn't really look good in circular format. And also as a watermark, it's it does, also doesn't really work. I really love this logo though, because it's our first original like OG logo. So I'm gonna still pay homage to that with this new logo, but this one is a little more modern and it's way easier to work with. So that's what we ended up going with. And I'm gonna leave the restyling of the homepage and a whole bunch of other pages on our site that I wanted to modify. I'll leave that for later. Anyway, so that's the website revamp that uh, is just finishing up. Next, I wanna talk about uh, the courses that I'm currently working on inside CWC+. So I just gave myself access to everything. And as you can see, the welcome video is different for someone who logs in as a CWC Plus member. This sort of customization wouldn't have been available through Teachable. So again, uh, it's very clear where you start. You start here and then you come down here and you're taking these apprentice level courses from foundations to databases to design. Now foundations continues off where the 14 day beginner challenge leaves off. And if I go into this course, I just wanna tell you a little bit more about what I'm working on. Um, the reason why this is actually so interesting to me is because we've had this sort of three course uh, learning path since the beginning. And we did it with UI kit here. And, you know, people really had a great experience with this, but we've had this for many years and we've basically updated it as Apple has come up with new versions of Swift and Xcode, but it wasn't until doing the Swift UI version that I was able to completely change it up, right? Reimagine it from the ground up. And I was able to incorporate so much feedback from, um, from the students or from users like yourself. Um, so for example, some of the things that were improved, a lot of people said it was very hard to um, after they finish the course to refer back to content if they forgot something. So we took this opportunity to create topic indexes for lessons. So this is really going to help with that in terms of using the course as reference after you've completed it. The other thing is that um, inside the course, I noticed that after people finished the course and they were uh, going to create their own personal projects that a lot of people were just losing code, forgetting where they put it or making a change and breaking their project and not being able to go back and that sort of thing. And I realized how crucial of a topic source control is, even if you're not working in a team and it's for your personal projects. And so I've decided to incorporate that into the foundations course, just showing you at a bare minimum how to set up your private repos and how to um, commit and push your code, even for just your personal projects. Another thing is that the learning experience from, from talking with the students, a lot of the learning comes from the actual, um, doing of the work. And that comes to no surprise, but sometimes people, if not, if they don't, if they aren't given the opportunity to, to practice and do the work, then it's less likely that they will on their own. Right. I always said, after you watch the lesson, you should try it out on your own. And I, th I don't think that was enough. So in the old UI kit version of the courses, I would have some quizzes, I would have some exercises scattered throughout the course. And people responded really well to that. They wanted more of it. And so in this version of the course, I've made an effort to create a quiz and create challenges for every single lesson. And it's not long, you know, it's not tough, but it does give people an opportunity and a reason to make sure that they have the concepts they need to know before they move on. And another thing uh, that this helps with is the marketability of the course 
for classrooms and for you know uh, educational institutes because we tried working with schools uh, with our UI kit courses and we realized that if you want it to be an actual curriculum in a school, there has to be a lot more hands-on work. And it can't just be like a series of videos that people watch uh, passively. And so we had set out to create all of that material after the fact, and it was a lot harder to do. Whereas right now, I am creating these quizzes and challenges as we go along. Uh, and, you know, the quiz, like I said, isn't long, but I think one of the the main aspects that's good about Thinkific is, and I don't know why they, this doesn't exist in Teachable, but when you answer a quiz question, it gives you an opportunity to write a message telling people like why that's right or why that's wrong. Uh, and also giving them like maybe a little um, summary about why that's the right answer. In Teachable, it's either right or wrong. And, and <laughs> you don't have the opportunity as an educator to write anything else. So. I, I really like this and I don't know if that's right or wrong because I'm not reading the question, but yeah, I really like this. So I made an effort to fill out sort of an explanation for every single question and the challenges aren't long, right? But it gives an opportunity for people to, um, to test something out. So in short, what I'm working on right now, uh, modules one, two, and three are done and released modules four, five, and six are in development and half of the database course is done and none of the design course is done. So if we go back here for a second, behind the scenes when I'm not recording and producing YouTube tutorials, this is what I'm working on. Um, yeah, and most of these courses here are, are finished. Now all of them are finished or content is coming out for them um, gradually. Next, I wanna talk about the app case study, which is down here at the pro level. But before I do that, I want to talk about the motivation for these uh, pro stage courses and what they're all about. Now, when I was reimagining, you know, Code with Chris for 2021, I I was really asking myself, um, you know, sort of what, why, why Code with Chris, right? <laughs> why? Uh, and I think there are so many choices out there, especially for, you know, paid programs or paid courses and stuff like that. And I identified the, I, I identified that I wanted to help people get a result. So I didn't just want to teach them how to code or show them, you know, Swift UI. I wanted to help them reach their goal, whatever that might be and make a transformation. So when we talked with our students and we talked about, talked with members of our audience, the two things, the two themes that stood out were a career right? So that's freelancer consultant or job as an iOS developer and be wanting to build their own app or to build a business or surrounding an app. So I wanted to, um, shape this path, this app journey, as we like to call it, as you can come in here, having no coding experience, right? Starting right here. And if you've taken the 14 day beginner challenge, or you've seen these videos on YouTube, you'll know that it really starts with um, no coding experience needed. So you pick up those skills, you expand on those skills based on, uh, your interests or what you need for your app or looking for a job. And then when you get to this stage, it's material to help you with either of those two goals. Now, in terms of the career oriented stuff, we're going to work on that after, uh, the building an app business stuff. So this product framework in this three month app case study is really, the goal is to help people build their own app or build their own app business. So that's the motivation between these two things. Now, in terms of what they are, our product framework, these are the steps we're going to follow to uh, build a successful app. And then the case study is real time. We're doing this right now and we just started this week is an over the shoulder look at us attempting to build a successful app business. And the reason I'm so excited for this is because this is new territory for me. You see, in my previous job, we built apps for clients and success for us meant that we delivered an app to them uh, on spec, on time and on budget. And after that, whatever happens, we weren't accountable for those results. But in terms of building a successful app or a successful app business, 
you have to be invested in what happens after you launch the app. In fact, most of the action happens after you launch the app. So that is all new to me. So this product framework is really our best guess at this point based on what we know. And we're going to update and iterate on this framework as we prove it out by applying it through this three month app case study. Our goal in three months is to uh, follow these phases that I've outlined in here and launch an app and get our first customer. So we're going to try and do that in three months. And based on what happens in here, we'll probably be updating and um, proving or disproving our assumptions in the framework. Now, the reason I bring this up is because the three month case study is something that I want anybody to be able to follow along. And even though this is part of the CWC plus program, I think in here, I'm going to share, um, you know, maybe, maybe more finer details about what's happening. So for example, what I have right now, since this just started this week, um, I'm documenting the meetings that we're having, the decisions we're making, uh, what we talked about. And so it's very detailed information. Um, you know, technical feasibility questions, we're, we're asking how we're going to go about answering them, action items, uh, what we're doing from here, and I'll share our like project management board. And so you can really get an over the shoulder look. Whereas I think on social media and on YouTube, I'm going to be sharing maybe end of week updates in a video. And um, I'm going to be sharing uh, maybe YouTube stories, uh, Instagram stories and stuff like that on things as they happen throughout the week, short clips like that. Um, in either case, even if you're not a member of CWC plus, you will be able to follow along on this three month app journey. And then at the end of three months, whether we succeed or fail, I think it's going to be an amazing learning experience for all of us. Obviously I do hope that we're six, we're going to succeed and I'm going to try my best, um, because it's going to be an amazing case study if we pull it off. And if it goes on to become a full fledged business, it's going to be amazing. But even if it's not, like I said, it's going to be an amazing learning experience. So that's what's been going on behind the scenes for the past couple of months. I know this isn't the usual type of video that you see on this channel, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Now, if you're interested in checking out the Thinkific platform and this new learning experience, you can simply go to codewithchris.com and click on the try for free link in the upper right corner and create an account. And then you'll be into the Thinkific dashboard and you can check out all our free courses. Other than that, look forward to the first episode of our three month app case study here on YouTube. And uh, with that said, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye for now.